So we, let's talk some politics. I see a lot of people go over on the stage and so they're praying. I don't know what they're praying, to be honest. I must be honest. I really must be honest. I really don't know what they're praying. I just look at all the stage for the record, all of them. I look at yellow, red, and orange. Let's start there. Blue, two, and green. So I look at all of them and people up there praying. I'm thinking, oh, really? Just remember that the same God who hardens clay softens butter. So when somebody said, the Lord help me to win, somebody will say, well, okay, maybe the Lord ain't got nothing to do with losers, so you don't invoke the Lord. So you get up on the stage and you say, the Lord tell me do this. That's why I ain't going up on no political stage to say anything. Don't call me. I stand. That's where I stand. No apologies there. Don't call me at no convention, nothing like that, nothing political. I represent God. He's my calling. A politician will use you, abuse you, and then discard you. I am sure about that. I have lived long enough to see that, and you must keep that in mind. When you are God's people, you make sure that God is the center of your life. He is the one to whom you look, and he is the one who gives you orders, and he is the one on who you operate under. And that's why there's a Holy Spirit. 